Oh, that was a bunch of dog hair that just flew in my face. Hey everyone, it's Tori here, and welcome to another RP Weekly. You know, I really should like search how to pronounce things first before I start filming. That would make so much sense. Zendaya of RPs. They are an RPH blog and they've actually been around for quite a while and I've always loved the resources that they put out into the world. As always with RPH blogs, be sure to check out their guidelines and what I do pages. Don't be an asshole. Vigilante RPG. Set in 2020, this roleplay follows along with the exciting and sometimes dangerous adventures of heroes, both under the mask and also in their daily lives. It is a 7x7 seven seven roleplay, which means they only have one slot open left, which only further means that you should go apply and take that one spot that's open. So hurry, run. But after this video, run after this video. Port Bay RP. This is a plotless original character roleplay set in Portland, Oregon. This is an appless roleplay and I highly recommend you take a look around at the pages. Uh, the locations page is actually my personal favorite. I adore any kind of world building pages or resources that roleplays provide. First up I have Taylor Russell. She is a Canadian actress known from Lost in Space and Falling Skies. This is actually someone that I forgot about until recently when I found him and thank god he's still acting. So his name is Brandon Michael Smith and you most likely know him from Sunny with a Chance or Relationship Status but he is also a dancer, a singer, and a comedian. Veritas Roleplay. This is a semi-canon Marauders era roleplay that focuses on the first Wizarding War. There's lots to unpack in this roleplay, which is exactly why it became my spotlight roleplay. The war has been going on for nine years at this point, and the characters are hardened and they're hurting because there's violence and tension and death. But what really sold me for this roleplay were the resources. I mean, the admins there are incredibly thorough in their world building which in my personal opinion is like the one of the most important parts of creating a roleplay. They have guides on a variety of topics from being a werewolf, wizarding, food, charities, and shops. So seriously go check them out and definitely send in an application. As always, the link to the goodie bag will be listed in the description below, so be sure to check that out. I definitely included more guys in this goodie bag than other ones before. There's being binary in the South, writing love interests who aren't perfect but also aren't abusive. <laughs> that was a very long title. Uh, 100 ways to say I love you, words and phrases to include in your sex scenes. My personal favorite thing in this goodie bag is the goal and activity widgets. So be sure to check that out and let me know in the comments below what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the feedback and the encouragement that I get. And actually, it makes me want to do more RPC video related things. So if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. My name is Story and I will see you next time on RP Weekly. Bye.